This week, guys, we're going to talk about the fully rugged Panasonic Toughbook FZ40 laptop and the five things I don't like about it. That's right, the five things, and I know in my previous emails or, or videos, I've told you it's the coolest laptop I've seen come out of Panasonic, and that's still true, don't get me wrong. The things I'm gonna bring up on this video are not that bad, but they just need to be said. And number five on my list is the price. Oh my goodness. Setting here with an i7 11th gen with 32 gigs of RAM, a one terabit hard drive, two dual, the dual batteries, you're talking $6,300, which is most all upgrades. It comes standard to start with an i5 and they want $4,300 to $4,800. Uh, I think that's way pricier than it needs to be but that's just my opinion. Number four, the fourth thing that uh, gets me about this unit is, as cool as it is with the X-Packs and everything, everything you wanna do with this thing is an upgrade. So yeah, you can buy the $4,300 unit, but you got nothing. You would have to upgrade, oh geez, I'd like to have memory in my laptop. Well, you gotta pay extra. That's where they get you to bring you up to that 6,000 to 7,000, you can go up to 10 grand on one of these units. Um, so everything's an upgrade, which is my fourth pet peeve on this unit. Uh, number three is there's no backward compatible docking station. So for years, decades as a matter of fact, Panasonic has kept the same docking station throughout their CF27 to the 28, to the CF29, to the CF30, to the CF31 all use the same docking station. Now granted, maybe the ports didn't totally work the same on the dock because they were older technology, but you could still power the unit with those docks. Uh, with this FC40, if you buy one of these to put in your car, be aware that you gotta buy a brand new dock if you wanna make that happen. So that's my third pet peeve. Number two, and this is common on all of these rugged books. Uh, the all rugged laptops have the same problem, it's the resistive touchpad. When you try to use this thing, at least it's big. I mean, they did give you a good size one, but you really gotta push on this thing if you wanted to use the touchpad. Now, it does come with a touch screen, which is probably a little easier to use than this touchpad. So that's my number two pet peeve. But I guess that my number one pet peeve with this particular Panasonic, and, and believe it or not, I think it's on all of these tough books, is the difficulty of repairing them. I mean, this is not a unit that you can just take into the repair shop at your local computer shop and have them repair it for you. They're gonna look at you and go, we can't do nothing. This thing is built to be not taken apart. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. It was not designed for you to take apart and repair. Um, you got to know what you're doing if you want to do anything on this laptop, except for the standard X-Pack upgrades. If you want to upgrade it, it's really easy. But if you need to get, dig into it and say, why isn't my uh, unit working and you need to replace a board or something of that nature, it becomes a lot more difficult. So that's my number one pet peeve. Uh, overall though, I still think it's one of the best laptops to come out of Panasonic. I want your opinion. Give it to me in the comments and I'll see you guys next week.